Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers working with Safari app extensions. Our viewer asks, how can I close a Safari app extension popover programmatically? Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer is building a Safari app extension using Xcode 8.3 and Swift 3. They have a popover that appears when the extension's toolbar item is clicked, containing buttons for user actions. However, they want to close the popover programmatically after an action is performed, but are struggling to find a solution. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To close a Safari app extension popover programmatically, we first need to understand the limitations of the Safari app extension architecture. The popover is managed by the system, and direct access to it is restricted. When a button in the popover is clicked, you can perform the desired action. However, to close the popover, you need to communicate back to the extension's view controller. You can use the SF Safari extension view controllers method to send a message back to the extension. This can be done using the dispatch message method. In your SF Safari extension view controller, listen for this message and then close the popover using the perform close method on the NSPover instance. Remember, if you encounter issues with dismissing the view controller, ensure that the view controller is presented correctly. Debugging the presentation state can help resolve these issues. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To close a Safari app extension popover programmatically, you can use the dismiss popover method from the SF Safari extension view controller class. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To close a Safari app extension popover programmatically, you can use the dismiss method. Here's how it's done. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.